of Chuck Missler. A friend of mine texted me last night to inform me of his passing. Now, I really didn't follow him a lot, but as I was thinking about this, it just dawned on me that so many Bible scholars that we grew up listening to are passing away. People who spoke on end time prophecies. It's just amazing how they're passing now. And I also found it very significant that he passed away literally two weeks before the 70th anniversary of Israel being a nation, which I also found find to be very profound. But as I was looking him up online, something jumped out at me. It was his last name, Missler. I can't explain why my spirit became aroused, but I immediately saw the word missile as I was looking at his last name. And I text my friend and I said, you know, I told her, I said, you know, I may be reaching here, but I can only share what would happen. And I was explaining to her how Chuck Missler, his last name, almost made me think of missiles. And how we've been hearing from so many people that when the missiles come down, we go up. And I feel that his his death is very significant when it comes to the times that we're living in. And everything that we see unfolding that's pointing to the fact that the tribulation is about to begin and the fact that the rapture is about to take place. And again, I can't explain why his last name jumped out at me, but I saw the word missile. Now, another thing I want to share with you all is I was watching a video of his last night and something very interesting popped up on the screen to the point where I had to take a picture of it. I want to let I want you to see this real quick, you guys. Do you see on the screen, you see I was watching a video by Chuck Missler and it was called Return of the Nephilim UFOs. Now, if you read the first bullet point, it says Mercury 8, 1968 first uses the code name Santa Claus to indicate UFOs near the space capsule. Now, why is this significant? First off, I want to remind you that, again, Chuck Missler spoke a lot about alien invasions. He spoke a lot about the Nephilims returning. He spoke about, you know, the UFOs and and all of these things. Now, the reason why that jumped out at me is because of a vision that I had that I shared here on YouTube. And I, in the, in the vision, I was crying out to the Lord. And I was asking him, how much longer? When are you coming? And I fell out in the spirit because I was just completely exhausted from crying out to the Lord. And immediately I saw a light being shown on a building. And I was taken, I was transported into that building. And I was sitting down listening to this musical begin. And they started singing, here comes Santa Claus. Here comes Santa Claus. And as soon as I heard them sing that song, I was immediately transported back where I was. And I've always wondered about that. Why would it be I would cry out to the Lord asking him, when are you coming? And he would allow me to hear that song. Now, to some of you guys, it may come across as if I'm reaching, but I'm truly just trying to make sense of all of this. Because I honestly believe that this is very significant, you guys. Now, you guys have been aware, those of you who have been following this channel, have seen the um, many dreams that I have shared of Nephilims, of giants, um, also of um, UFOs. 
Now, I haven't shared this dream yet with you all, but my son actually, my oldest son, brought it to my attention that he had a dream seven months ago. I know you guys, I tell them all the time, if you have a dream, let me know immediately, but some kind of way he forgot to share it. But he had a very interesting dream um, regarding a UFO that he saw. Now, I wasn't really just going to make a, a video of it, but if you guys are interested in hearing that dream in detail, just give me a shout out in the comments. Let me know and I will make a video about it. But he had a dream regarding a UFO that he saw. Um, so the thing is, like I said, Chuck Missler spoke a lot about UFOs. He spoke a lot about an alien invasion. He even spoke about how the Nephilims will be returning, but they will come in the form of what we know as aliens. And I'm truly wondering that if his passing away is another marker indicating that we're about to see this kick off. You guys, so many of us are getting so many revelations regarding the rapture, regarding tribulation, regarding, you know, World War III. We, we see all of these things unfolding. And, and the thing that we need to keep in mind is the word of God says that he will do nothing on the earth, in the earth, until he first reveals it to his servants, the prophets. So you can take that however you choose, but God has been pouring out his spirit upon all flesh. He's giving old men, young men, little kids, dreams, visions, whether they're sleeping visions, whether they're wake visions, he's pouring his spirit upon all flesh, letting us know that the rapture is about to happen, letting us know that World War III is about to kick off, letting us know that the tribulation is about to begin, letting us know that the Nephilims are here and they are about to return. Look at all these movies that we see. I mean, everywhere you turn is some type of movie de depicting something about aliens. So they're, they're conditioning the masses. They're, they're conditioning the masses to let us know that this is about to take place. And because Chuck Missler spoke greatly about this subject, I believe that this is a marker to let us know that this is about to start. So I wanted to put this out here and just let you know that these were the things that really begin to drop in my spirit and the fact that the very first video I clicked on last night of Chuck Missler I caught him speaking on this as far as how NASA um, would use the code word Santa Claus as a way to make references of UFOs or aliens that they saw in space so I, I don't find that to be a coincidence. I really don't. And it's possible that when I was crying out to Lord, asking him, when are you coming? That the reason why he connected the song Santa Claus was because he knew that there was going to come a time where this connection was going to be made with Chuck Missler passing and with him letting us know that there is a such thing as a code name Santa Claus when it comes to UFOs and aliens that are being spotted in space. So again, you can take this as I'm reaching, but again, I, I feel like the Lord is giving us so many clues to point to the season that we're in, you guys, and we are definitely in the season of the rapture taking place and the tribulation beginning. I pray for his family, those who, um, who are mourning his loss, and I pray that you all do the same. I love you all. You guys, we have to stay alert at all times. We have to keep watching, and we cannot fall asleep right now. 
I'm talking about spiritually asleep. Stay awake, stay alert, stay vigilant, keep your eyes on the Lord. I love you. Shalom.